Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go over Cosmic Ghostwriter again. I was one of the first ones to get him. And one of the first ones I'm aware of to really say, don't worry about triggering decks. It's about knowing his judgment system and that there's a small window where you can't trigger it. And still you'll get that massive, massive precision from the SP2. Even killed a couple Alliance War bosses with him, Master, Tier 1. And then my buddy Germ showed me this video and his write-up, and it absolutely blew me away. I can't wait to show it to you, talk a little bit about what I learned. All right, so we're going to do our best to just kind of jump right into the gameplay and talk about it as we go. This first fight, this is Germ's gameplay. There are gonna be, I think, five from me and two from Germ. This is against the Weapon X boss in Act 7. One of the first things you'll notice is that Germ is not triggering the power gain. That's something that's very different. That's the thing that he really showed me and why you might not want to do that. He has triggered decks. It's not a big deal. He ended, uh, he has two judgments, as you can see, by the red passive with the two on it underneath Weapon X. He's ending his combos in a medium. He's gonna build all the way to the SP3 when he gets to the SP3. And after Wolverine has gone, uh, lost his unblockable, Germ will uh, parry. He will hold heavy to trigger the aptitude. He will throw his first special, and then he'll throw the special three, which will trigger the massive, massive fury buff. He's now in what he is calling like the lockdown period, right? He can't really trigger any more judgments, but he can get the benefit from them. You'll see he's gonna go in immediately and end this first combo with the light, which is going to trigger an extremely long power gain, shooting him, I believe, all the way to the SP2. Yep, he's now going to parry heavy, trigger the massive precision from the SP2 because he had reset the judgment system. So having triggered decks prior to it did not matter. And you see the results and the massive damage that he did. It happened all so fast, I couldn't even point out that when he had reached the five judgments, uh, uh, Wolverine Weapon X was actually heal blocked. So let's go ahead and go into, I, here's, this is fight for me against the Axe 6 uh, Medusa with Footloose, and I'm going to accidentally trigger Dexterity. My original plan was just to go to the SP2, but you see here, I'm gonna end up making a mistake. I have already triggered the power gain. It happens, it's muscle memory. I accidentally trigger dexterity what am i gonna do i've triggered three judgments i'm just gonna go to the sp3 no big deal i haven't thrown a special yet so throwing the sp3 is going to trigger the fury and uh <clears throat> excuse me the large um cruelty that you get from when you throw your first special so here we go we're lining this up heavy into the sp3 and we're now going to trigger that uh that damnation right so you're gonna notice her fury buffs are gonna be gone when we go back because the, uh, I believe it's called Damnation. From the SIG ability has been triggered or from uh, from triggering of the five judgments. She's also now power lock, so she's not gaining power. As soon as that falls off, we're going to land in the medium combo. So we've triggered one judgment. I'm gonna to go to the light so I can get the longer, <clears throat> excuse me, power gain. Here we go. That shoots me pretty far up. You see, that's with only two judgments and still pretty big. Now to the heavy with the SP2, triggering the huge precision, and she's down. She's down. So even though I made a mistake, I made two mistakes there. I triggered uh, Dexterity when I didn't intend to, and I used the power gain much earlier than I intended to. You see how quickly we can still get down. A pretty beefy, pretty tough fight. Right? You don't really think a Cosmic Ghost Rider for uh, Footloose. Now going in, this is Germ's fight again. We're going in against Red Hulk. And this is the fight with the 1.4 million damage in 30 seconds. Remember, this is uh, Red Hulk. I believe it's like a 5.1 million health or something like that. And the way Germ is going to do this, let's go ahead and kind of pay attention to this. So he's already triggered dexterity he has ended in a five hit combo and what he's ideally trying to do is get red hulk uh, with no power or at least not with one bar of power and have himself have three bars of power and that's when he's going to trigger his heavy he's going to have red hulk locked in the corner and he's going to continue to heavy over and over 
because you can continue to trigger those benefits from the judgments, which means he's going to have, I think it's five or six aptitudes before he throws his first special three, meaning that fury from the SP is going to be massive. Here we go, we're getting pretty close to it. You're seeing the heavies over and over, it's four, five. He almost threw, threw another one, so he's up to five. He's now triggered, meaning this fury is going to have the benefit of those five aptitudes. Red Hulk is going to be at 90% health, and the rest of this fight will last 30 seconds. Look at this. Look at this. He's got the six aptitudes. He's triggered three judgments. He's triggering a massive power gain. That's the fourth judgment. So that power gain is going to be pretty big. I think it'll get him to the SP2. Going straight in. <laughs> triggering the huge precision. I mean, look at this. He still has all of those aptitudes. Remember, because of how long they last, later in the judgment cycle, you trigger them, the longer they last. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 1.4 million, done. And so now, now I get it, right? You're thinking like, okay, you're throwing a lot of information at me. Uh, that's great for an LOL fight. And yeah, that worked out in the Weapon X fight. So I decided like, look, I'm gonna take this through some more uh, complex fights too, with nodes and things like that. We're gonna fight this Iron Man Infinity War and a Heimdall with this ARP overload and the Armored Assault, meaning whenever they have, <clears throat> excuse me, an armor up buff, they're going to go unblockable. So we are going to have to be triggering decks. Look how small you can get that window where you where you don't want to trigger decks or where you really can't. So they're unblockable. As long as they have the armor up buff, they're, they're unblockable. Fine, I'm dexing out of it. Of course, I'm hitting into his block. I would like to uh, gain power so that I can push him to at least one bar of power to evade it when I need to. I thought I landed a repair, I get hit, which actually almost works out well because it that also triggers a judgment. You see we're now at three. Uh, so there we go. These things are going well. Ideally, I'm not, I'm just gonna get to that third bar of power so I can throw my SP3 and I'm saving the light ending combo, that, that big power gain. That's really the big difference here. You'll see, um, I, before I was triggering the power gain to try to more quickly get to the SP3 or to more quickly get to the SP2. I still think it has a time and a place, uh, but you'll see how well this works out. So parry, we're at three bars of power. We're gonna parry, we throw our heavy to trigger the aptitude. We throw the special three, so that is triggering the massive fury and also the cruelty from just throwing a special. Now watch this. Going in, <laughs> light ending combo, forces us all the way up to the SP2. Because the judgment system has reset, we can parry, we can trigger <laughs> the massive, massive cruelty. It's just incredible to me, and the massive precision. Iron Man is down. This is a fight where the opponent is frequently going unblockable. There's even an arc overload associated with it. Iron Man is down. Going on to the next fight in the lane, the same nodes. I think a slightly more tough opponent to fight is this Heimdall. And you're gonna see very, very similar results. Same nodes, arc overload, this armor assault. The armor up buff, they're going to go unblockable. Let's see how this goes. Going in, remember, we're going to save our light ending combo uh, till after we've thrown the SP3. If any of this isn't really making sense with you for the judgment system and the buffs that are triggered with it, I have, I think, three videos already on Cosmic Ghost Rider where we really talk in depth about the judgment system, how that works, and my first real understandings of triggering decks really isn't that big a deal. It's more about understanding his judgment system and making that work for you and, and know how to recover if you make a mistake, right? Anyone that has this complexity and is able to do this many things, there is an ideal time to do things and you might make a mistake, that's fine. It's about knowing how to then recover if and when you make that mistake. And we'll have a boss fight at the end of this video that I think really does a good job of showing. You can make a ton of mistakes and still come out on top in a fight. So 
Things are going great. We've been able to uh, get him to a bar of power, have him continue throwing that. I don't think we've even gotten tagged once in this, despite him having armor up pretty frequently. Now we're gonna go in, again, the heavy to trigger the aptitude. This is our first special. So that is the first time we'll be triggering the judgment of precision. And then we're throwing the SP3, which will trigger the large fury buff. We're gonna go right in and we're gonna trigger the uh, power gain. But watch what happens here. This one's interesting. This is what talking about making a mistake and knowing what to do. So I've triggered the huge power gain. I'm all excited and I do a five hit combo. And now I've pushed myself to an SP3, but watch, no judgments have been triggered. Do you see there's no passive judgments on him? All right, let's trigger another aptitude because we can, we can. That's the aptitude from the first series. We've now triggered a second one. We're gonna trigger a second fury buff and a second precision. Watch this, watch this. There's gonna be twos underneath all those buffs for us. Unbelievable, unbelievable. We can now go in and trigger the power gain again and go in for the nice big close here. Gonna parry heavy SP2 for the huge precision. And this guy is down. You can even use that to your advantage. If this was a beefier opponent, you could use that to your advantage. Trigger all of those buffs a second time because the power gain is that massive. The power gain is that massive. You can use that to your, uh, your, your advantage if this was a beefier opponent. Trigger all those buffs a second time get in there and just beat the heck out of them, right? So it's really about understanding the judgment system and uh, and then what uh, what Jerome was calling the lockdown system. If this isn't making sense to you, if you're more someone who reads th through things really well, I have linked, he put it on Reddit, I've linked the, uh, the Reddit post. I also recommend checking out his channel, check out Slayer of God's channel. Uh, excellent stuff, even more in depth and more examples of this thing we're seeing. So, okay. Now you're thinking, all right, so he can do that. Well, yeah, but you've got to throw your specials in a certain order and all of these things. So I went into Act 7, going to take on this Omega Red. You see this uh, specialist, Power Axis. There's encroaching stun, I meaning you're going to have to throw your specials at very specific times and hurt Locker, right? You can't throw the same, the same special over and over. You haven't really seen us throw a lot of special ones. This is really going to be a problem, right? Watch this. Keeping all of that in mind, all those, the hurt locker, the encroaching stun, watch how well you can still handle this if you understand the judgment system. So we've thrown the special one, we get a judgment from that, okay? So we're now at three judgments. We're gonna try our best to build up to the SP2. I'm throwing the, uh, the power gain now to get to the special two. Timed it beautifully because it's such a big power gain because it was the fourth judgment we had triggered. We've now triggered the big uh, precision and the cruelty. Able to go in. Omega Red played nice there. He did throw his SP2, but that's fine. We had plenty of time. Now just got to throw our special one. Went ahead and, uh, and held the heavy just for fun. Threw the special one. This fight's over. So if you really know how to understand the judgment system, you can configure him to a lot of nodes that I know I did not think he could handle. When he first came out, I thought this guy is really going to be cool for very specific, simple fights. Then I started to understand the judgment system better. And I thought, no, this guy is really good. Still going to be pretty niche. Then, as you're going to see, I'm going to show you the, my first boss solo here. Um, and I thought, OK, this guy can do this very well. Then I got assigned another war fight and I realized, wow, he can do that. Pretty awesome, too. Then Germ and Slayer of Gods have been putting out their videos. And this just opened my eyes. Germ sent me this footage. He actually asked me to put this out. He does have it on his YouTube channel, but I guess he's going back to work or to school. I don't recall exactly, but he's going back into what he's calling semi-retirement. He asked me to put these out to try to get them out to more people to really understand this champion. This champion is so much fun. And Germ wanted as many people as possible to know about it and to understand it. So I hope, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please ask in the comment section. If it's not, read Germ's uh, breakdown there on Reddit. Go to Slayer of Gods 
Uh, follow him on Twitter. I think he has a Discord and look at his channel, watch those videos. And then of course, I would love it. Ask me questions too. I'm going to continue to put out Cosmic Ghostwriter uh, content and videos, use him in War, and I've been using him in Act 7. So let's get into this. This was my first boss solo of last season going up against this Killmonger. Now you see how highly I'm boosted. I have removed dexterity because I was very concerned about triggering it at the wrong time. This was before I really had thought about or knew the uh, strategy of holding the power gain until after you've thrown the SB3. Or ideally, what I really mean is, is holding it until after you've triggered five judgments. So you see, I'm starting with the medium ender there, triggered vigilance. Now I'm going to end it with a light to trigger the power gain. I'm trying to get to the SP2 as quickly as possible. And I have the power gain boost. So I'm just going to rely on them to help me cycle my specials. I've triggered the heavy here now. And I believe I'm going to throw the SP2. I'm going to rely on the power back boost to get me very close. You see how, how high back uh, they got me in power. I am also having to deal with the global node here of stubborn, meaning if I triggered or evaded, uh, he would go indestructible. So that's why you're seeing me block a lot of, uh, of hits too. At this point, I end up making a mistake. I pushed myself all the way to the SP3. That had not been my plan, but it's what happened. And that was fine. Intentionally blocked that SP2. Trigger the aptitude again. Throw the SP3 because the judgment had reset. This is going to give me a really big fury because of the aptitude. And it's going to give me the chance to trigger that judgment of precision again when I go in for the SP2. And I can see as I watch this fight, first of all, this was my first boss solo. So all things considered, not too bad. But as I watch this fight, I see how the work of, of Germ and a Slayer of Gods could, if I could put that into this fight, how much easier and quicker that would go and how power back boosts probably aren't even necessary. Hope this was helpful. Please ask me questions. This guy is incredible. He's getting better. It's like the weeks go by. He's now definitely getting pushed into my top rankings for uh, Cosmic, probably just behind Corvus. He's incredible. Understand his judgment system. Understand what Germ is calling the lockdown system once you've triggered five judgments, how you can really use that to your benefit, and how to just reset it if and when you make a mistake. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow on Twitter at VegaGaming583. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.